Good evening, guys, and welcome back to another video. What we're gonna do today? So today, I have some plan in my mind. This time, we are making a game in Python using TK in the module. Uh, I can see on one of my videos. Let me just show you because on that video, I had got 2.5k plus views. So once again, we are back with another TK in the project. Let me just show you once what was that project that we had done already before, and what is the right can see it. Wow, nice. Anyways. Uh, okay. so this that way, right? <laughs> it's gonna take some time. What we need is this. Yes. Let me open it. I don't know why is it taking so much time. Wait. No. And so what we're going to do today is today we are making one game called as Hangman. I'm sure you all guys have, must have played this uh, before uh, in your childhood. Okay, so it was on pen and paper on this on a flat space. Right? This time we are making it our own project for this game. Let me show you that I had just I uh, got three subscribers more uh, recently in this. And Okay, so this was the TK Inter project which I was talking about. Said I have got 2.5k plus views. So we have made a TK Inter quiz, right? Now this time we are playing one hand game. And let's close this. Configure. Okay, fine. Configure. Now what we will do is let me make a new project and name it as Hangman. Let's log on Hangman. Good to go. Okay, so I have already tried it once. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, so I have tried it once, uh, but no worries, we will delete this. NP, good to go. Let's make a new whiteboard. Let me explain you what does this hangman game show? What does this, how to play this game? And then we will create the, okay, got it. Then we will create the code for okay, So let me explain you. Let's say that we have one uh, word like, let's say, T. Okay, sorry for my handwriting. What happens is automatically this one letter is replaced by a dash. So here we will be using string functions. All right. Uh, don't worry. It's not much uh, complicated as it seems. Okay. So this is what we want, what we are going to do. Okay. Good to go. So now this time we are using one new thing. So let me go for spider. How to get the spider? I haven't uh, opened your PowerShell window. PowerShell. Which is, yeah. This one. Uh, PowerShell window and and uh, hit over here pip install spider. You can even install Jupyter from this way, the same way. And uh, already I have done this, so I would just directly search for spider on Windows 10 and 11 machines. This uh, command directly can work from the start menu itself. Okay, so requirement already satisfied because I have already installed it. Fine. Okay, close this. Stop. Stop. Fine. So it's gonna take some time. So I will just meet you once I once we encounter and complete this branch. Okay. okay, so now we are in this spider itself. So this is actually one encrypted decrypter that I tried. It's another version. So just tell me if you want this. I will also make a video on this as well. Okay, we are closing this. Now what I want you to do is uh, check here and see this is our full right? and save this thing over here as for now I am using it as TK Inter, right? Um, so let's see. Okay, fine. Let's copy the address and control S. Good to go. Isn't it? And you have, let's just name it so that it's easier for us. TK Inter. Good to go. Okay, so if you are using TK Inter, the first step what we will be doing is importing it as imp from TK Inter directly from TK Inter import import asterisk. Is it? This is the first step which which should do because we are using the model itself. Now let's name root is equal to TK uh, TK, and we always have root dot main loop, don't we? Wait, just a minute. Okay, so it was it has now loaded. We already always have this root uh, root dot main loop in order to run this window. Let's see. 
Where is it? Good dot name. Working fine. Let's enter in the full screen. Doesn't end. No worries. All right. So now what we run, what we need to run is def main. Uh, we are having one main function so that it's easier for us to figure out thing. And this main function will be the. Um, okay. Anyways, they, I think this should encounter some errors. So rather than going that way, let's just directly label um, text equals it was just a, just we miss one thing root and then we have text equals hang man game and then we have font font okay font directly first this algerian and we have the size of 18 18 pixels and one more thing that should be full f foreground that should be red i want red then you have this dot grid you have row equal to zero the first row column equal to two because uh, uh, when we start this when we run this game uh, we will be having some middle place as well so that's why column will be equal to two or zero one two so directly one itself then you have sticky stick y is equal to n and pad y equal to five pad x equal to 10. This is just exercise spacing as we all know. Right? So this is what our main things, the main, let's say main. Uh, anyways, so this is what we have uh, completed till now. We have just added one text, that's it. Now let's add one label once again. Then you have root text equals question. And then you have phone, which is Times New Roman. Times New Roman this time. And again, a little bit smaller. So that it's easier to differentiate between the heading and the question. Foreground equal to uh, Foreground. Is it? Uh, is the foreground needed? No, not. Fine. <laughs> and then you have dot grid. Okay, let's copy. Why should we do lots of, you know, because I know we all are. Lazy. I know. <laughs> okay. Then you have this equal to zero. And from here, this time we are changing it to east. Okay. No, not east. I should. I think it should be west. Oh, sorry, W, right? It's just a direction, not the south. Okay, fine. So hangman game and we have question. Then we have two question. Then let's add one space. Then let's again copy this thing, paste it over here. There is some issue with the quotation sign. Okay, fine. Let's copy this thing once again. Let's paste it. Question. And now this time, this would be changed. Now this thing would be changed. So this text should be now what the question word that we're gonna have. Okay, so just remove this for now. We also add one comment over here that this is for question word. We are just using words here. Right? Okay, now what I want is I want some random words to come. So from random. Random is a model that we have already talked about in some previous video as well. Import rand int, random integer, fine. Then we have, let's make a word list. And that is a list. Let's say for now, we have only three words, fine. We have brother, then we have question, question, and we have answer, fine. Now, word that is equal to, word list word list and let's add one int ind index that would be equal to rand int and then we have zero to leno so this would be dynamically uh, given it right so that's why we need to um, leno word list 
So if in case I increase this, this would also increase. So that's why I want it to be dynamically safe. And then we have in. Okay. So word has been selected now. Now what? Now what we need to do is replace some of the words, uh, some of the words letter with a underscore. Fine. Uh, let's go. Let's see. Question that would be equal to a word dot replace replace the function right over here then we are still missing one thing uh word ind that would be equal to a random integer from zero to len of word which would be minus two because fine and here why are we using this now uh, always the strings can also be uh, the strings uh, elements or the letters can also be accessed like this uh, as in a list. So that's why we are using word dot replace. And now we are replacing the word in dice that is word into bracket, uh, sorry, word into bracket, word underscore in dice with something here you can see this is old str, then new str count, etc. So new str, we are replacing it with a underscore. Fine. So uh, question is has been selected, word has been replaced. Uh, here the random integer has been done, so we have replaced it with a dash. Uh, word has been selected, and now over here back to word. So text would be equal to question. Let's see how the if it works or not. There is some error. There is some error. Uh, this column should be changed to true. And row remains one. Uh, other things, let's see. Pad x, pad y, etc. 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 I think this should work. See, okay, so this is what we are doing now. Here we have added brother. Let's close this. Rerun once. Question rerun once. It list index out of it. Uh, then we have brother once again. Run once again. Fine. So this is done. We will figure this out and let me just make one new video for this. I need to still see and think of how to fix this. But if I can figure it out in this one, it's good. But if I cannot, let's try one thing. Is it now working perfectly? Yes. Yes. Okay. So we have, we have figured it out. No need to make another new video. So text equal to a question. So now we have added our question word. Now what we need is some answer from the user and that is easy entry. We have an entry box over here that is at root and then text variable this time. Text variable is answer, uh, answer from user. Then we have, we don't need fonts. What we need now is dot grid. Wait, let's see. Okay, let's see if we can copy paste from the clipboard itself. Yes. And this time row will be equal to two. Fine. So why? Uh, let's remove this and add this as one itself. And then we also have this root.title, which I just forgot. Root.title and we have hangman game. Let's let me just check it once. Answer you do not forgot. We don't need it. So hangman game, hangman name, two instances up. Fine, no worries. So let's add one over here, answer user. Um, not this, because these are all the logics that we have done. So let's add over here, answer from user. That would be a string var, string variable, you know. Okay, so let's add some comments over here so that it's easy for us to figure out if there is some error or we are seeing this program after 100 years. Okay, so we are doing uh, string functions, string functions, and some word selection from here. Then from over here, we run it as tk inter main window. Fine. So we have now added our entry. We have added this thing. Let's add next. Uh, now we need to submit it, right? Because without entering, we cannot see, uh, see that. So button, button, we are adding on button, root with the root, 
and then text will be equal to submit question mark question mark and then you have phone which will be equal to coach C okay no, not to go for such complicated spellings uh, let's see let's see it's calibri calibri with a phone size of 15 a little bit more small then we have foreground which is let's say red and then you have background which is black black actually suits red and then we have not to write the whole thing let's copy paste okay row equal to three column equal to one fine 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 okay so it's it has now done let's just see how is it looking so none type has no attribute by that uh, and the answer user uh, am i missing something wait text variable okay let me i just i think i forgot one spelling no not still there is some why is there some error string one uh this is okay this is okay text variable let's see what is is it available or not from entry Entry with that fine delete here. Why is it some error? It shouldn't be right. Uh, which in line number in line number 1311 answer user is equal to string var. A string var is fine. Come on. None type has no object attribute underscore root. So let me just uh, change this ID in you know, to VS Code because I don't know which issue is this facing right now. So let's enter VS Code now. Here we again all checks and then we have hangman. Let's run to VS Code. <sighs> Fine. But for now, I think that all this code is working perfectly and there is not such, there should not be such errors. But still, let's figure it out if there is some, right? Uh, this is okay. This is okay. This is all okay. Come on. We have answer gives it fixed to uh, Let's see. Mm. None type has no attribute at this for root in in it. So string var is not there. Let me just uh, rename it. Let's change this to answer itself ans. And over here, ans is equal to a string var. Good to go. And you have a bracket. Fine. Let's see now. Is it a some error still? Yes, it is. So, well, I think it shouldn't be. But if there is, then we have done something else. Root, then we have text variable equal to ANS. Let's see now. Still, the error will be the same, obviously, because the error is over here. Oof. Wait, let's add it over here. Yeah, wow, it worked. How? I don't know. Okay, maybe after initializing this TK, that's why answer is taken over here. So we have to initialize this TK first. I think that's why uh, we were facing this error. And then we have answer. Let's see, answer, and we are clicking the submit. Right. Okay, so it's it has now got completely fine. No worries. And then we have sub underscore ms command equal to command equal to sub answer it means submit the answer right uh, let's add one comment submitting answer answer function okay so test submit submit answer and that doesn't take any values 
Now we are adding one over here. X is equal to message box dot show. Uh, no, not show, but we have to ask yes or no. Ask yes no is a uh, function of this uh, thing. We are importing uh, from the TK inter itself, so no worries. And then we have a message box dot ask yes or no. And first, now let me just explain you how does this thing do. See, this has two attributes like uh, two invert two commas two inverted commas. It's separated by a comma. The first thing has the title for the message box that is submit answer question mark exclamation mark. And now we have here. Do you want to submit the answer question? Mark. Okay. So now let me just show you what are we doing. And here we have added ESTF, and it is asking us if we want to submit the answer or not. Yes. Okay. So now let me explain you. If we please click on yes, let me show you once again. Uh, if we click on yes. Then it submits a true, true uh, boolean in the uh, in this variable. That's why I have uh, included in this x. So if x is will be equal to true, then go ahead to the next part. If not, then come back. Let it come back to over here. Fine. And if I click on no, it it gives us a false. Fine. So now we have done it. Now we need to add if x double equals true because it's a boolean. Then go to check. Underscore answer, and we have that. Else, uh, we need to add else. No, no, no. We don't need to add else. Fine. Now let's add def check answer, and then we have. Uh, let's see what are we doing. Okay, fine. So we have answer which is equal to. ANS dot get. Why do we we are using this? Because if we write just ANS, it will not get. Okay, we have to write answer dot get. And if word double equals, is it the for word first thing, right? So this is where we have selected the word. And now if word is equal to answer, then uh, message box dot show info. We have to show the info. Uh, correct. First thing again, the title. Second thing, the message. See over here, you can see over here that first thing is the title. Second thing is the message. Correct answer. Then you have yes, you have got it correct. Now let's add one more thing. If word double equals a blank string. Or word double equals something like this, then message box dot show warning uh, blank uh, blank answer box answer box and we are adding no you can't leave the answer wrong answer blank we are not allowing it to leave the answer blank fine right? okay let's close this terminal elif we can use elif if they both are just complemented let's add elif so that to follow the convention and else means why what are we doing that word is not equal to the answer then message box uh, sorry, I don't message box dot show error wrong answer and you got it wrong. We what one thing is pending over here is checking the number of guesses. So uh, this is actually this video has actually went very long. So I'm sorry for this video, but yes, I promise to solve this in some other videos as well. Till the next video, take care. Goodbye.